can buy the state of Maine. <laughs> right. If, if that person wanted <laughs> yes. to, with that kind of money, you could do that. Uh, talking <laughs> other numbers, speaking of high numbers, I mean, for this time of year, these temperatures are pretty nice. Yeah, they are not much to complain about at all, even if we're going to have to throw a little rain, splash a little wet weather into the equation as well. I'll take 50s and wet weather versus 30s out there any day. So here we go. It's not going to be a washout this week. I think that's something I should point out. So it's not going to be raining the entire time. It's not like you're going to wake up every single day and it's pouring rain outside. You don't have to worry about that, but we do got scattered showers in here tomorrow. Again, I don't think it's terribly wet. I think we've got some hit and miss areas of wet weather. Off and on rain chances stick around through the end of the week, unfortunately, so no doubt today was by far the best day of the week. At least it stays mild for us. So overall, the impacts tomorrow are low from wet weather. They do get a little higher, though, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But again, not a washout, not raining the entire time. Beautiful day we had the clouds rolling in now. These are mostly high clouds and the combination of southerly winds and some high cloud cover moving in tonight means that it will not be nearly as cold. So here's what happens. Temperatures drop here early this evening and then they'll begin to level out and probably actually begin to go back up towards morning tomorrow, and that will be accompanied by the increasing chance for some spotty rain to be had. Again, I don't expect for it to be a washout for the morning commute. It's quiet tonight while we sleep. As we go ahead in time, here's some of those spotty showers or sprinkles that move in here tomorrow, the first half of your day. I actually think it's probably going to be the wettest sometime after lunchtime. That seems to be when showers want to be the most concentrated, especially near Interstate 71 and south. But again, notice you don't see anything that's particularly heavy out there at any point tomorrow. And I actually think it gets quiet overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. So Wednesday starts dry, but I think the next round of rain moves in here probably late Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. And that's actually one of the wetter time frames Wednesday night into early Thursday. So outside this evening, it's gorgeous out there. And again, you know, with the clouds moving in, a southeasterly breeze, temperatures, it's not going to feel too bad. We're not going to like crash once the sun goes down. So some clouds tonight, temperatures climb late. We'll top out around 39 for a low tomorrow. Mostly cloudy with scattered showers. It will be a breezy day. 54 for an afternoon high. We could have some of those wind gusts getting over 30 at times. So again, a little windy out there. Here's a look at your day planner. We'll start the morning in the mid 40s. We should climb into the low to mid 50s with some scattered showers. Again, not a lot of rain to be had around the area. Here's your seven day forecast. Wednesday and Thursday are the two weather impact days because the wettest weather occurs Wednesday night into early Thursday, and then we get another break Thursday afternoon. And then on Friday, that's when the actual strongest cold front comes in, and that's when temperatures dive and it starts to feel a little more like winter as we start next weekend. But Mike and Sheree, no significant signs of winter overall in the seven day, even with a cooling trend over the weekend. Kevin, thanks.